Hello beautiful family, Stephen here, Saturday, Saturday 16th of September in the year 2023, I just pray over this video, first, dear loving Heavenly Father, I just pray over this video, I just pray as I read your word, you'll speak to the people and edify them, and edify us all Lord God through your word, in the name of Jesus Christ, help me to be clothed with humility, Lord God, help us to forgive everyone that sinned against us or offended us in word for or deeds. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, may everybody go away feeling blessed. Lord God, I pray you bless us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Bless us richly and abundantly. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So I'm just going to read you some scripture. Um... Matthew 20, starting from verse 1. For the kingdom of heaven, Jesus speaking, For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire labourers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the labourers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour, and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they went their way. Again he went out about the sixth and the ninth hour, and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out, and found others standing idle, and saith unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man have hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. So when even the evening was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the labourers, and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. And when they came, they that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, These have wrought but one hour. And thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and the heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that thine is and go thy way. I will give unto this last, even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first and the first last. For many be called but few chosen. So we have been chosen. God has chosen us. We are born again. If so be that you have believed the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because you must believe the gospel to enter into the kingdom of God, into the kingdom of heaven. The gospel, well, first of all, it says in Romans 3.23, all have sinned, broken God's commandments, and all fall short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23, it says, the wages, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everybody that believes, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, do this one thing, Believe on Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Saved, sealed, sanctified, justified with everlasting life. Born of God, born again with a one-way ticket to heaven. So believe the gospel. How? That Jesus on that cross, on the cross, he died for all our sins. As it is written in the Holy Word, 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. He died for our sins, he was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. That's the gospel and when you believe it in here, when you know that Jesus did that for you, you will be saved. Saved. 
save yourself therefore and, and lay hold of your salvation believe that's all god's not asking you to do a load of good works because by grace are we saved through faith and that not of ourselves it is the gift of god free gift of god not of works lest any man should boast so i i just gave this 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 parable is uh, the the lord of the vineyard the householder um because i i just want i just want to think that when we're in heaven like it says here we'll all be the same you know um we're all kings and priests you think about it right say you you guys and me we've done all this work for god right we've done it we've done it and we we may maybe, maybe we've done it out of a pure heart and pure motives yes that's great but what about say i go onto the streets tomorrow we're going to huddersfield tomorrow to preach the gospel me and rob so please pray for us but what 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 if i'm preaching to somebody he comes up to me as i'm talking with my mouthpiece and he gets born again right there and then and then jesus snatches us up that was the last person who got saved uh who was appointed salvation uh, before uh, redemption day hapato rapture and he, we all get caught up so is that is that man a woman who got saved right at the last minute are they going to be the least in the kingdom of god because they didn't do any good works you know or you know just think about it that person if they'd had chance to for sure I mean, we we're not saved by works or kept saved by them. We're saved for good works. That person would have done some things. You see what I'm saying? And God is so Jesus is so generous, and I don't think He wants any of us to to feel above each other or below each other. We have to get on the same page and and love one another. We really do. Let me just read this from one John. Uh, I'm just going to show you how many times we are referred to as little children. Um, John chapter, uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 1. My little children. Hold on. Oh, somebody asking for prayer. I'll get, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, my little children, these things write I unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. So... My little children, my little children. Jesus said, unless you become as little children and be converted, you shall never see the kingdom of heaven. But let me continue. Chapter 2, verse 12. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. I, I, um, verse 13. My word. <laughs> all these messages coming through i don't mind i just but anyway I, uh so chapter verse 12 no verse 13 of chapter 2 i write unto you little children because ye have known the father let me carry on uh, verse 18 little children it is the last time and as you have heard the antichrist shall come even now are there many antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time? I'm just going to go on. I'm going to just read this to, to you. We've all been received an anointing. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, you guys and me. And ye need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. Verse 28. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear we may have confidence, and not be ashamed before him at his coming. Hmm, that, that suggests that we could, if we're not abiding him, in him, we might be ashamed. So abide in him, I know you guys do, abiding in him is staying in prayer, staying in his love, staying in his word, you know. So anyway, let me continue. Um, Behold, what manner of love, chapter 3. 
the Father have bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Hold on, I'm just going to carry on. Uh, chapter 3, verse 7. Little children, let no man deceive you. Right, I'm going to carry on. Um, right, hold on a minute. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, chapter, verse 18. My little children... Let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Preaching to myself as well. Uh, let me continue. Um, chapter 4, verse 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Let me go to verse 7. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And every one that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Verse 11, Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Um, let me see, is that it with the, I think there's more, I haven't got to it yet, but I think there's more reference, oh, the last verse, Little children, keep, thy, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. So, I'll just quickly tell you of a, of a, a night vision that I had was absolutely wonderful. So I sat on some grass and there's a few trees here and there. I just remember Sister Andrea and we were both cross-legged, just giggling with so much joy. And then all of a sudden these big red orbs of light come flying through the sky above me like this. I was like, wow. And then behind them became came all these children clothed in white, glowing, glorious. And they came behind them all in, in an assembly, in a, in a group, you know, not moving or flapping their arms or anything, just just flying through the air like this, you know. It was, it's awesome. And then behind them came this hymn. And it was just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And Isaiah, oh my, Isaiah 3, I think it's verse 4. And God will give uh, little children to be their princes. And babes shall rule over them. So there you go, it's a bit more of a hint. Little children, I'm going to get going for it. It's 13 minutes. Please pray for us tomorrow at Huddersfield. Oh, and if anybody is in Huddersfield, uh, Brother Rob suggested this. If you want to come out and join us, you will most welcome. I'll certainly make you welcome, I'm sure. I know Brother Rob will as well. So it's gone over 13 minutes, but I don't care. In the name of Jesus, I just pray this video to be blessed to everyone. And it'll go through the algorithms real quick. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. Amen. All right, I'm so excited, you know. I, I really am. Um, some people haven't got that urgency inside them. I was talking with somebody earlier on. They didn't have the same urgency that I have in me. And I do. I have it in me so much. I, I mean, I've had it in me all the time since I've been preaching, but it's got to a point now where it, I think we could be down to the last hours and um, I'm excited because I've been through so much in this life and I can't wait to leave this world. So I'll see you in the clouds, I believe, any moment now.